This is an AQA Psychology GCSE revision video for the paper on topic of development with a specific focus on the Hughes Key study of the policeman doll. So what does Hughes study tell us about egocentrism? Hughes study is a key study, which means that you could get a nine mark question like describe and evaluate Hughes policeman doll study. So you will need to be able to describe the aim, procedure, findings and conclusion of this study and produce two evaluation paragraphs at least for this study. So Hughes policeman doll study was about egocentrism, which is Piaget's concept that young children can only see things from their point of view and they cannot see things from others' point of view. However, Hughes Hughes disagreed with Piaget and he thought that young children were not egocentric or as egocentric as Piaget suggested. So Hughes' aim was to see if young children could understand egocentrism in a task that made sense to them. So Hughes' sample consisted of 30 children between the ages of three and five years old. He conducted it in a lab environment and what happened was children were shown a model of two walls that formed a cross. So you have four different areas amongst those two walls, which are labelled A, B, C and D. And then a policeman doll was placed onto the model and the child was asked to hide the doll, which you can see here, from the policeman. So they would place the policeman in two different positions around this model and the child would have to hide the boy doll each time and that was just to check that the child understood the task so once they showed they understood the task in the actual experiment which is shown by this image here there were two policeman dolls and the child had to hide the boy doll from both of the policemen so with that experiment being used the findings were that 90 percent of the children were able to hide the boy from both policemen and therefore children can see things from others' points of view as young as three years old, therefore going against Piaget's idea that three-year-olds are egocentric. Hughes found three-year-olds are not egocentric through that study. Therefore, you can link this to Piaget because Piaget, again, just like in the Naughty Teddy study, it's shown Piaget underestimated children's abilities. However, it does support Piaget because it does show that children's understanding develops with age, which is Piaget's whole theory. So that's the APFC of the Hughes Policeman doll study. You do have to be able to evaluate the study. And so here's just a quick reminder of how you evaluate a study in psychology. You use GRAVE. So I'm going to put three questions on the screen that I want you to think about the answers for, specifically about Hughes' study. And this is an opportunity to now pause the video. And in five seconds, we will look at how we can turn these evaluation points into paragraphs. So the strength of the study is that it, it's better than Piaget because the task actually made better sense to the children than Piaget's mountain task. The policeman task was a problem children are more likely to think about in everyday life. Um, if you think of like games like cops and rubbers and just like playing with dolls as children. So it's a strength because it means Hughes actually better assessed children's abilities than Piaget did. So it's a really well thought through study that Hughes created um, and that's why it is a good study. However, the researcher might have unconsciously hinted the correct answer. So they might not have meant to, but they might have accidentally given subtle, subtle clues, like looking in the direction where the boy could be hidden and then do that without realising, but this could actually be a, an issue with the study and that children aren't actually not egocentric, but they were just were given hints about the correct answer. And then finally, there's sample bias in the study because all of the children who took part were from the same area, Scotland, Edinburgh. And also the reason older children did better than younger might be due to differences in their educational background. And so there are problems there with the sample that's been used. So that is the Hughes Policeman Doll study, which is a key study for the development 
topic on paper one. Thank you for watching. I hope you found this useful.